M0 FXB is cutting on Windows 11. I've got Windows 11 on my laptop, works fine, I'm quite happy with it. So I thought I'd put it on my PC, which has a i5-6600 uh, processor, and it fails. It fails the test. So, and you can go to here, Windows Update, get PC Health Check, which I've done, and then when you get it, mine says, sorry, um, your processor doesn't support TPM. So what is Windows TPM? I've never heard of it. Trusted Platform Module. Technology is designed to provide hardware-based security-related functions. And it goes on. And most, I would say most modern uh, CPUs have it. I thought mine would have it because it's an i5 and I thought it would. So, but when I do the, the test to see if I'm compatible, this is what comes up. The PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 requirements, and if you look at it, it's the it's the CPU, and there is a list of CPU. And my CPU, as you can see, i5 6600, 3.3. Now you can go into BIOS, and because you might have a, a CPU that does support it, but the TPM is not turned on. So how do you do that? So you know, reboot your PC. Try holding down delete or F2 as it's booting, keep pushing it. You'll get into this and go to advanced and eventually you'll get to the section that says TPM and you just enable it and that's it because many will have it not enabled. But mine, because I have an i5 uh, processor on a different PC and that does have it. So mine doesn't have it. So um, it could be that the motherboard that I've got, but I've got a feeling it's the processor. If someone knows that I can do it with the 6600, now what they do say is you can upload uh, an image, an iOS image, and load it from a disk, and it will boot if the, if the disk is fresh, if it's a fresh disk. So I've tried to upload it not to a fresh disk uh, because I wanted to keep all my settings and all the rest of it. I did do a backup, and that failed. So it's possible uh, if you get the... I'll show you where to get the... Um, I, the image from so you just get it from here I'll put the link in download now here it is here click Windows 11 I've done it I've put it on a CD uh, no problem very quick very fast and it definitely when I put it in this PT it starts to try and load it up but it must recognize what's already on there because it very quickly says sorry you haven't got the you know the correct CPU processor and there is a, a section that actually does say from Windows look you can load it up but it's at your own risk uh, but I, I'm not going to really attempt it this computer is working really fine um, but um, if someone knows of a 6600 CPU that does have TPM um, i5 that is and there is a way and it, it is just my motherboard uh, let me know and I'll like, give it a go but otherwise um, if someone says do you like Windows 11. Yeah, I do. I've used it on my laptop and I like it. It's user friendly and it just works okay. So I hope you find this interesting. If you, if you keep getting these messages about upgrading your PC to Windows 11, everything I've got works on it. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, Windows 10 is good as well. I remember, I remember when, when I went from Windows 7 to Windows 10, I thought it'd be a nightmare. But once you get used to how it clicks or ticks, then it's fine. 7.3, thanks for watching my channel. All the best.